Hello, this is Jordan, and this is your Precious Metals video market update. This video is being recorded on the late evening of Monday, August 5th, 2019. And starting off, we're going to look at gold, the current commitment of traders report, and gold against foreign currencies. First things first, uh, this is weekly data in this chart. At the bottom, gold against foreign currencies, Monday, made a daily close that was an all-time high. Now, one way to chart gold against foreign currencies is just to get the data of gold and then get the data of the dollar, you multiply them together. Now, the 2011 daily high was about 14.35. Well, on Monday, it closed above that at 14.36. So gold against foreign currencies, which is often a leading indicator for gold and dollars, closed at an all-time high. Now, basically, gold denominated in basically every major currency except the euro and the dollar is at an all-time high. Now, gold against the euro, that's, I think, about 4% from an all-time high. So, I mean, that could, that, that could happen at some point fairly soon, whereas it's going to take a little more time for gold in, in the dollar. But we are closing in on the point when... Gold is basically at an all-time high against every currency except for the dollar. Again, gold against the euro, a little bit more work to do, but uh, it's fairly close, only about 4% away. Now, gold closed Monday at 1476, and there is a confluence of some resistance at 1475. So maybe gold pauses here for a couple days or a week or two, I'm not really sure, but it's just something to keep in mind because prior to today I was looking at resistance at 1475 and then 1550. Gold was able to break away from the resistance at 1420 to 1425. That is now support, so we'll see what happens around 1475. But in any case, the next target for gold is really, let's say 1550, because that crash in early 2013, I mean, it left a big gap basically up to 1550 so gold is not that far away from from that level now the cot i mean the, the last video i did which was i want to say uh a month ago maybe a little bit uh more than that but at that point the cot wasn't really an issue it's starting to become a bit of an issue the net speculative position in the last reading was 51% of open interest. If you look at 2016, 2011, and 2012, those peaks all came around 55%. So we're at 51% now, pretty close to that. However, if you go back and you look at what happened in uh, 2005, uh, the very beginning of 2006, early 2009, late 2009, uh, there's points when uh, you can see the, the COT was at that 55% level and you know maybe there was a little correction in gold or a little pause and it kept going higher. So the fact that gold could reach that 55% level, that doesn't mean it's gonna become some major top. Now that was the case in 11, 12, and 16, but it wasn't the case when we were in a bull market in the 2000s. And it looks like we're in another bull market now. So uh, it could definitely mark some kind of a pause or a correction but not necessarily a major top. So those are the things that take away. Now, this is so important for gold. Uh, gold, how is it performing against the stock market? And here we have gold against the S&P 500 at the top. GDX against the S&P 500 at the bottom. Let's look at the bottom chart first. The gold stocks have been leading gold, and you can see that ratio broke out to a new 52-week high, retested the breakout, couple weeks ago and now it's successfully confirmed it uh, so GDX to the S&P 500 that ratio is almost at a two-year high it's like at a one year and an 11 month high so not quite a two-year high almost there but it's very bullish uh, if we see the same thing if, if we if we can see the gold to S&P 500 ratio do the same thing that is going to be super bullish for gold because in my opinion uh, and this can obviously change in time, uh, but I think gold has a pretty good chance to get to 1700 on this rally, you know, maybe 1600. Um, 
you know, if the dollar cracks and trends lower, that's going to give us more upside fuel. Uh, that's a topic for a, probably the next video. But anyway, simply put, if goal, if this ratio can break above that level there at, at 0 0.54, 0 0.55, and then confirm it and, and stay above that resistance and trade it a two, uh, yeah, like a two or three year high, that's going to be super bullish for precious metals. If that happens, then gold is much more likely to go to 1900 or even 2000 um you know in the next 12 18 months or so so that ratio i mean that ratio at the top breaking out if that happens we're probably going to see 2000 gold if it doesn't happen in the next couple months or the next six or nine months then you know the best we can probably do for this move is 16 1700 and then we get some kind of correction that who you know who knows maybe it lasts for six months or nine months or whatever but i mean that's just all speculation i i i've already said it too many times you guys know how important this is continue to watch gold against the s p 500 because that's going to be a tell for you know is this going to become a full-blown bull market or not now lastly uh, let's look at the long-term targets and uh, how we're measuring up. Gold, as I said, the next resistance is 1550, but the measured upside target from the bottoming formation comes out to about 1700. So gold, may, maybe we get some kind of a pause or a correction that lasts for a couple months at, at uh, 1550, but you know, maybe it even snaps back to the low 1400s, that 1425 uh, support, which was previously resistance. You know, and that can set up uh, the move to 1700. Uh, so, I mean, that's just one scenario. But 1700, that's a strong target for gold. From the bottoming pattern, GDX, the target's 50. It's approaching major resistance at 30 to 31. So GDX is about 8% away from that 2016 resistance, whereas GDXJ is about 19% away. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, do, do we get some kind of a correction when GDX gets to 31, or does it go through 31, and then we get the correction when GDXJ reaches 49 or 50? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. But uh, the long-term trajectory of all these charts is bullish they're acting bullish and I, we don't need to fear a sustained correction until probably gold gets to 1550 or uh gdxj gets up to 49 or 50. so we're still bullish but uh gold's approaching 1550 and when that happens i think we're going to see a sustained correction that's all for this video Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. And if you want more videos like these or you want to follow more of my work, go to thedailygold.com. You can opt in there at the top for my free book. It's all the best work and research I've done uh, over the last several years. And you can also check out my premium service at uh, thedailygold.com forward slash premium. It's highly affordable. And we focus on market timing and stock selection. We want to get you into the best stocks at the right time. And we use a disciplined approach when trimming positions and taking profits and also cutting losers. That's all. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.